Hey YouTube, it's Alfred here. A uh, long time, I know, but uh, thought I'd go ahead and get started with my series about my air rifles and air guns that I've had. Where we're getting close to getting the air gun range built and finished, so uh, thought I'd go ahead and get started and uh, show you and tell you, talk to you about the air guns, BB guns that I've had over the years. And I thought I would start with a very special one. And that is my very first BB gun I ever got. It was a Daisy. And it's the model 179. And uh, I still have it. Here it is right here. As you can see. It's been dinged up. And got scratches and everything well used and uh, it shoots BB regular BBs and uh, I've got it I got it back when oh, I think I was eight or nine maybe ten years old and I fell in love with it and uh, good old single action army style after the old Colts uh, it's metal and the only thing is plastic is the uh, grips here and uh, I don't know how many rounds I put through it I really don't it's a lot but uh, it holds 12 shots and uh, the way you load it is you pull the lever back up here and you get it to stay open and put the BBs in right there that little hole and then you close it up of course this spring is just about wore out and uh, like I said it holds 12 shots and the thing about this is I've looked at a lot of write-ups and some say it is a kinetic energy type BB gun but then some of them say no it's more of a uh, catapult gun and I believe I tend to believe it's more of a catapult gun because there is a a slinger I guess you'd say in here that when you cock it and load it and it's loaded you'll see a BB right there and you'll see like a little wire rod behind it that will catapult it out when you pull the trigger now trigger is very light you have a little bit of take up and then it'll break there's nothing in it there's nothing been in it for years so all the safety Sally Nazis can go away um, I'm gonna cock it one time and show you but I don't like cocking it because it, you'll see when I cock it what I mean on something if you see that pin right there that goes to the hammer. Look at the hammer of how wallowed out that hole is. Let me turn it around where you can see it even better. See that little pin here, that hole, just a little bit of metal is holding it because I have used this so much. That's how much I used this and played with it when I was a kid. Now here's the trigger pull. A little bit of take up. And poof. Or bang or whatever you want to say. And uh, it will shoot or catapult the BB out at a blistering 157 feet per second. So you don't shoot far and you're not that powerful. I mean, uh, you hit a bird with this and this is going to turn around and say, what are you doing? you know so that's my first BB gun ever and still have it I even have something else that goes with it I have the original owner's manual and uh, it was a decent owner's manual too if you look they have a if I can get this right. 
exploded view diagram of it. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, like I said, I, I was about, I think, 10 years old, maybe. So that would put it in 1977. Yes, a long time ago. But uh, that's my first BB gun. And uh, so we're going to start doing some reviews and... I'll be showing you the, my gun, BB guns, and air guns, air rifles. And also, I'll be doing a separate series on the knife collection that I have. I like collecting knives, too. So, um, I had some people request that also. So, I'll be posting those videos. I'll be posting videos of uh, some of my gardening stuff, maybe. I will be doing some more cooking videos. I'm working on getting everything ready to do a, a batch of my homemade jalapeno pepper hot sauce so be on the look for that be on the lookout for that excuse me and uh, until then we'll be seeing you and I will be doing some more videos here more recently and uh, we're working on getting the air gun range built the backstop and everything so it'll be safe out there in the backyard we can do some shooting videos get some trigger time out so until next time thank you for watching comment subscribe and uh Give me a thumbs up if you'd like. So until next time, thanks again, and we'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.